Alright guys, there's date and time on a Garmin Fire 620. And right now we are in the lower level of Gable Hall, Northern Illinois University, here in DeKalb, Illinois. Now to give you guys a little bit of history, uh, this building was originally built in 1957 and uh, was actually a school, believe it or not. It uh, served uh, elementary grades through junior high. And then later in like 1974, this school, this uh, building was uh, converted to a campus building and now houses uh, the School of Education. As well as a swimming pool, believe it or not. I don't think the swimming pool is in operation anymore, but uh, yeah, this place has a swimming pool, believe it or not. But it wasn't until 2002 when they put in an elevator. That's right, guys. This building used to not have an elevator from uh, 1957 to 2002. But then they had to uh, in compliance, so that's good. It looks like they chose to install a Schindler MT. So with that said, let's ride it. Let's go to focus. So here are two. Now let's go down to a lower level. And let's get a cab view. Not bad for an early 2000s installation. Here's your lantern. Here's your floor indicator and Schindler logo. Yeah, I'm not going to bother saying anything about the indicator because I'm pretty sure you, by now you guys know how Schindler MT indicators tend to behave. Here's your emergency light, control cabinet, here's your COP, and here you got a phone. Seems to be a little crooked. <laughs> it's kind of loose too. Look at that. There's your inspection, there's your uh, fire service instructions. And your inspection certificate right here. So let's exit the elevator. There's an elevator valve lantern works. Don't know why I have messages there. So there the elevator goes. And if I have any machine fans, you got a snack machine right here, which is a automatic products. Don't know if the date that says I don't know if the num if the number combination that says 204 is uh, date and year it was manufactured or if that's a model, but yeah. Automatic products vending machine, as you can see. I'm not gonna demonstrate in this video, but, but I thought I'd show you what it looks like. Then we got a Dixie Narco. Actually, we should know this is a crane, 5800 4. Yeah, apparently, crane bought out Dixie Narco, so that's why you're seeing the crane nameplate or the crane logo on that sticker. Brief look at this spinning machine. And we're gonna end the video now. So I hope you all enjoyed and that's it.